So the expansion starts taking place. You guys are um, putting your sales force into place. Great Lakes are st stuff starting to happen around there. What's next? Well, I think youth and an imperialistic attitude says, hey, the world's our oyster or our fish. <laughs> right. And, and uh, we, uh, and I think with some kind of reckless abandon, according to my financial controller and my banker, <laughs> I went about <laughs> with great enthusiasm buying these smaller countries around the United States um, that were respected in their own area. You know, generally, John, what, generally what happens is a good fisherman uh, is making fishing lures in his little shop or whatever it is, and, and he's local because right. he knows all the local guys. And he fishes the local streams. He knows what's good. He's good. Uh, and so they start a company, a little company that, that uh, might be a $100,000 company. It might be a, a million-dollar company, but it's r relatively regionally located. Right. Uh, and we did have the ability to manufacture these products uh, really well. We did a lot of things really well. We did because we weren't down in Burbank and some we couldn't admit, we couldn't you could you take know. them right out and test them. Well, well yeah, in that and, and we we did everything ourselves. We did we did the metal stamping, we did the polishing, we did the painting, we did the plating. Thank you, DEQ. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that maybe. Maybe we shouldn't talk about that. Uh, we did the plating, we did uh, the packaging, we did the printing, we did we made our own show materials. Uh, we did everything ourselves. So we had full control of every aspect. Full of control of every aspect and the economies that come with that. So we were able to kind of put the numbers together and say, hey, we can, we can buy your company in, in uh, 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 Ontario or we can buy your company in Florida. By matter of fact, we bought, I think, about six companies in Florida. A lot of fishing tackle companies in Florida. Yeah, oh, I bet, yeah. There really are. Anyway, and I like going to Florida, so. <laughs> so it works out. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Tony Asetta was one, Clearwater Tackle was another, uh, and others, many others that you've never heard of, I'm sure. But, but um, so um, that was really the, there was over 40 companies that were bought during our, our tenure there. 40 companies. 40 companies. And all in related to fishing lures All related or to fishing lures okay. well a few because you had some smokers and things we too did. right as a matter of fact yeah that's an interesting story we went to uh i'll preface that <laughs> we saw the movie the graduate yes and he said get into plastics See? yes so i said well that's a good idea so we bought this little company down in, in burbank that uh, manufactured plastic fly boxes and they're little boxes and some round. And the fishermen will all know about the 65S fly box, okay. little round fly box. Uh, so we went down there to buy that. And I remember we bought all this stuff and I remember bringing home up the grapevine. Oh, that was a bad trip. But <laughs> when we were down there, uh, the two brothers that owned that said, uh, here, we just bought this smoker, little chief smoker, about this big, you know how they are, and they're real simple. Um, we, we got this from Roland Electric in Minneapolis. And he said, uh, if you want it, you can have it. We don't want it. So I said, I think they sold 150 of them that year. Uh. So I said, sure, throw it in, throw it in. But surprisingly enough, of all the things that we purchased, I think that had the biggest footprint, so to speak, in our really? ultimate sales. Um, it grew and grew and grew. And it's a, it's a wonderful little item. It's simple to use and... Uh, uh, we all enjoy them. Still being uh, sold today? They're still being sold today. I sold that company separately from the fishing tackle company. I sold it to a really good friend that manufactured the wood chips for us in Cascade Locks. Oh. Bear Mountain? Yeah. The manufacture wood chips for your fireplace sure. or for various things. Anyway, th they bought the company and it stayed in the same location out in a little suburb of Hood River called Oak Grove. Yeah. Yeah. So it's out there chugging away in a, a funky old building and has about 20 employees and they're really? doing good and they, their sales are, are probably three, three and a half million dollars. and Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And they're doing really well. And the nicest part about it is, I think to me anyway, a lot of the people that are working there are really my old team. Yeah. So I can go out there and say, hey, you know, how's times and what have you, and I like it. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, they're good people. Good, good. Well, um, about going to have to go to another break here, but 
I want to when we come back. I want to hear more about you know once once you sold the company, um, obviously a huge piece of your life and a huge piece of history in your family. Um, what that transition was like for you. Your take on the economy right now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and ultimately what you do these days. So be right back. Up next. But they put a manufacturing, a small manufacturing and um, distribution point over in White Salmon at a, a nice little operation over there. And they employed about 20 people for about the last uh, four years. 